We're back to Neil Haley show. My guest today is again, rapper, uh, entertainer, John D'Souza. John, how are you? What's going on, man? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So what's, give me some updates of what else is going on with you and your music. We got well, new music um, soon coming out. You're going to have some new music coming out soon. Yeah. So I got an EP that's out called Chess Boxing and I'm, I'm getting ready to press out 20,000 copies and give them out for free. Oh, wow. And what's the, so you're going to give them out for free. What is the reasoning for giving them out for free? The reason for giving them out for free is to um promote my blog. I'm going to ask them from, for their email and then give them out for free. And also um, it's to promote like sales of merch and stuff like that. Like once they, once they interact with me, that'll open up the window for them to see the merch I got. Even though it's a free CD I'm giving out, that may be a sale for merch. Well, that's a really good idea. You know, it's basically you're getting out there the the music and stuff. And how many uh how many songs are in the in on your uh, album? It's only um it's six right now. And what is that process of going and recording in the studio? It must be really interesting and fun. Yeah, it's it's fun. When I go in the studio, you know what I mean. I basically just get in a zone, and once I'm in that zone, I try to I try to keep it up like that. But I'll admit, I punch in a lot because it's been a long time since I rap. So the, the engineer has to like you know keep keep punching me in where I mess up at. But once I get once I get uh, where I'm comfortable at, I'll be memorizing most of my music. All right, cool. So tell me, you know, tell so some all the songs in the um album. Tell us which one, which songs. Okay, we got um Little Child Running Wild. That's the first track. All right, so tell us about that a little bit, that song. That song is me talking about mostly me helping my father bag up bricks of cocaine when I was five years old. Oh. I, would, I, would, I would put tape. He would, he would have me under the table when he had the bricks, and all he asked me to do was to put the tape up on the table for him. So, And then, like... In 1985, when I was four, he had bought a NASCAR in Panama, and I, I got to come out at my my grand my grand aunt's house and come into it. Then 1984, I'm rapping about how I left the apartment when I was three years old to go upstairs. He was sleeping, and and I and I left the apartment, and I walked into a, into a, um an apartment where people were killing people. And like I, I, I'm not. I don't. I can't say who, because I don't remember. I was young, but I know people was killing people. Oh wow, that's that's wild for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. So tell me a little bit about. Uh, let me think here. Tell me about the second song. The second song is called "Come Whip It." It's a song. It's an upbeat song. It's something to get you grooving. And it's basically talking about, you know, how can we come do this? Come back to my spot. Does he have that blue wrist? Come whip it in the pot. So it's like, you know, does he have that blue wrist? Come whip it in the pot. Like I'm cooking up some major shit to be bought. Does he have, you know, so I'm cooking it up like from the stove, like. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's hear about the third song. The third song. It's called uh, You Want, and that's a grimy, gritty song. You know, it's talking about, like, um, how does it go? It's a, you want a nigga top pop? Just name the price. How you nigga like, oh, how, you want a nigga top pop? Just name the price. How you niggas like, damn, this nigga is tripe. Hit it with, I, I can't really remember it, because I just laid it down, but it's, it's, it's a gritty track. All right. Uh, so that has nothing really to do with anything. Just not nah. kind of it. Okay, what's about four? Fourth song. Number four is um. What's number four? Come whip it. I got come whip it. I think I believe it's that's not it. That's not it. Is a track and it's it's basically bringing my feelings to the game. It's just, it's a nice. The track has like a J Cole like beat, and it's 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 like. Pretty much, um, I would say, me pouring out my heart to my listeners as to why 
I never ra- why I didn't rap for so long. What why it took me so long to rap and what I was getting into. And now you're back. Yeah. All right. Next number five, right? We're yeah, five. number five. I, hold, I'm trying to remember. I'm missing one. Come with it. That's not it. Um. Come with it. That's not it. Is what I'm forgetting one of them, but the last track is called Going Overboard. What's that? That, that yeah. one, that one is pretty much talking about like um is 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 displaying some a uh, different style of rap, like a real, real slow flow of rap combined with like a real like deep beat, not deep like like something like it's is along the line of some type of like Dr. Dre kind of production, like something like that. Excellent. All right. Best place people, John, people can find information on you. Where can they go? They can go to my, my Facebook group, um, Texas Hip Hop. All right. Fantastic, John. It was great talking to you and look forward to chatting next week on your podcast. We all have some guests for us. Yeah, okay. hopefully. I got I got I got somebody. I'm I'm gonna work on somebody. All right. All right. That was again John DeSousa, you know, kicking it up on the Neil Haley show. Take care.